guys it's Peyton and today we're doing a very different video because it's going to be a discussion type video. I haven't done this in a while I've done it a few times but something's been happening the past week and it's honestly baffling me. I've never seen anything like it. We've all heard about that whole thing where authors will kind of stalk their goodreads and see a bad review on their book and kind of attack the person that wrote the review even though goodreads is meant for reviewers and not authors so this whole freaking video is kind of talking about that because when we review a book we're not expecting the author to come show up and like start freaking belittling us and i've been on booktube for seven years so like i've seen this stuff happen quite a bit this specific time feels different because normally just in general for the internet when you do something bad and people call you out normally there's some type of like notes app apology whether it's genuine or not someone at least tries to fake their freaking understanding that they did something wrong you know they they try to apologize at least this person lauren huff is not even attempting to apologize they have not said once that something that they have done is wrong and i think that's how you know you are wrong because if you are in this entire situation if you are not once looking back at yourself and like really thinking about okay what could i have done better in this situation if you not once have a single thing that you maybe could have done better you probably in the wrong I'm, I'm just saying so if you don't know anything about this situation I am going to run down it for you I have a whole bunch of screenshots this person to this day is currently still tweeting quote tweeting people that like I interact with on Twitter every single day like I see these people all the time just attacking them. like being so mean there was a video from Mina Reads who made a really good video on this but here's the thing Lauren Huff cannot stop tweeting I felt the need to make a video once I realized this lady is not stopping so I definitely recommend watching Mina's video first or watching it after mine blah 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 that video is really good and you know as I see the situation continuing I just felt the need to come to my channel and talk about this because it's just crazy I cannot believe this shit let's just explain the thing that started it all okay Lauren Huff came out with a book called leaving isn't the hardest thing and it came out on April 13th and I'm filming this on April 18th so this was very recently released on their release day it had a 4.22 rating on Goodreads which is a pretty good rating the author came to Twitter they have like 66,000 followers on their Twitter so that's a lot of people to be ranting to they screenshotted some Goodreads reviewers that gave their book a 4.5 stars so that's almost a five star rating and this book is a memoir and it is about Lauren who grew up in a cult and I'm sure that was terrible and you know life sucks I'm sure your life really freaking sucked but people are still allowed to rate your memoir it's not a personal attack against your life like it is a book they're freaking reviewing the quality of the writing you know just if they liked the book or not so they are allowed to not give it a perfect five star review I don't I've never seen an author expect five star reviews from every single reader. It's actually crazy to me that this author thinks that they deserve five stars from every single person that ever reads their book. Lauren tweeted, glad to see most of the Goodreads assholes still giving four stars reviews to show their super tough reviewers who need to like fall in love, you know? Anyway, no one likes you. And then it continued and said, grow up with the screenshot of the two reviewers. It didn't take out their names or anything. Exposing those reviewers for giving 4.5 stars for their book really good reviews one of the people said such a good book and they just rounded it down to four stars because they gave a 4.5 stars I don't see the problem here this really comes from an angry person like who gets this freaking angry that they come to their 66,000 followers and it's like oh my god this person gave me a 4.5 review. I don't see it. I definitely understand like authors coming across a review that is like one stars and being like, dang, that hurts, but you still don't respond. And there's so many authors out there that do check Goodreads sometimes. They might see the negative reviews and they don't respond. That's the difference. I don't even know if it's healthy for them to look at the reviews. I've heard some authors say that they have friends go through their Goodreads and like pick out some good reviews so they can, you know, have something nice to read on the day. It's just not healthy. 
to freaking check these reviews. And then the author started blocking a bunch of people because they started to criticize her. Book reviewers, book Twitter found this whole thread and obviously we're offended because it's just like what? You are not owed our good reviews and it wasn't even a bad review so what are you mad at? Why are you calling us assholes? What's going on here? So there's a tweet where someone tried to tell Lauren from today that Goodreads is for readers and not authors to read so why are you even looking at it to begin with? Like literally Goodreads is the reader space. Authors should stay the F away from that and I say this as an author myself. So Lauren quote tweeted that and said authors read books. It's like how we became authors. Why are you commenting on it? Like why? Like I get, I get you read books but like you as an author probably shouldn't go be looking at yours because it's not meant for you. You're not reviewing your own book. Like what the frick? Because of all of this criticism from the book reviewing community, a lot of people started to go and give this book one star reviews. They haven't read this book and they're swarming it with one stars reviews. I don't personally feel like it's good to review a book you haven't read and there is a way to write something on Goodreads with no rating and some people did do that. Here's a screenshot of people warning people about this author and just being like they literally might attack you if you freaking give this book anything below five stars because their ego is just that big. I can see why it really freaking sucks. To have a whole bunch of one stars reviews because then the rating on goodreads is now 2.11 so it's gone down a whole bunch so i can understand wow that sucks but also actions have consequences and you didn't realize that people would be offended by this and i don't know why you wouldn't realize that because it's just like why are you calling people assholes for 4.5 star reviews i personally don't feel like you should review a book that you have not read and you should probably just click the no rating and leave a comment about what this author has been doing because you know goodreads we we do warn people about authors because a lot of authors end up being problematic and we learn about that after the fact after we've already read the book and loved it that often happens but in this particular situation the author exposed themselves on the release day for being a rude person. The review rating is going to freaking go down because everybody's warning each other. Everybody's talking about it and everybody is just like, why would you do this? And no one really wants to associate with such a rude person that would get mad over a 4.5 star review. <laughs> this is when things got crazy. I woke up today and just saw a swarm of Lauren Huff freaking tweets, like going off, going just insane. They've been quiet for a few days, it seems. They came to Twitter and pretty much saying like they're done being quiet and they're going to fight. Like this is the day to fight. So I'm going to read that whole thread of them realizing they want to fight us. Like what the heck? Lauren says, the rule is don't respond. Someone way back when called it don't feed the trolls. And it's true. Generally, I tried. I really effing did. Hired the friend to block people. Kept my mouth shut. But it's my book they're trying to destroy. My effing soul is in that book. You're saying you never respond, but you responded in the first place to make this whole freaking thing start. You looked at the Goodreads and there's probably like a one star review in there, but no, you went for the freaking 4.5 star review that said the book was good. And then you said, grow up, called them assholes. You're the one that freaking started this situation by responding. You have not tried to not respond. Like this point is invalid right now. So the thread continues. It says, so I'm done letting them kick me. F it. I'm fighting. I don't effing care how many times they post the screenshot. I shouldn't have deleted it, but it was the day my book came out and I wanted to be happy for one day. They think I was mad about a four star review. They're saying I threw a tantrum about an effing four star review. They're saying posting a screenshot of my review and my feed was doxing. I like to know what they think the internet is. Okay, this is about a four star review though. You made it about a four star review. I guess you've just never freaking seen book Twitter or been around this situation because we always call out people that are this rude to freaking reviewers that are just hyping up your book. Like this review was hyping up your book saying it was good and you're that ungrateful just because it wasn't a perfect five star review. Who told you you were gonna get five star reviews always? Like who told you, who put that in your head that you're that amazing that there's no one that could dislike your book what so they're trying to like invalidate the whole freaking situation right now by saying it's not about a four-star review it was about a four-star review it still is about the four-star review you're the one that was so mad about it this whole thing happened because of what you started and now they're trying to look like a victim and like why are y'all acting like i said something about a four-star review like i deleted it so um y'all should be over it by now like no we got the screenshots <laughs>
So it continues. It says, they, and this is the funniest part, think I blamed being stoned. What I did was think aloud about har how arbitrary all this shit is. The ratings is 4.5, a 4, or a 5. Who gives a shit? And how effed is that that they can destroy someone's book before they even give a chance to breathe? So you're saying who gives a shit about 4.5 star reviews? You did! So literally is taking back everything she freaking said to begin with. Obviously so fuming about a 4.5 star review. So offended it wasn't 5 stars. And now you're acting like you don't care about that. It's not connecting. <laughs> But I didn't use those words. I was exhausted and am. I was excited and effing terrified. My book was coming out in the morning. So I was stoned and I threw up a bunch of half formed expletive laden thoughts thinking like I do that I was talking to the wall. So she thinks she's talking to a wall when she has 66,000 followers. She has to have some understanding of the weight of how many people that is. Because it is really effed up that the group think over on review Twitter can destroy a book. Before anyone reads it, I called them assholes, so they decided to prove it. Okay, so you admit that you did call them assholes. Why did you need to do that to begin with? I definitely understand it sucks that your book is kind of flopping right now because of all these freaking goodreads reviews but you brought it on yourself and you're not apologizing to anybody that's the whole point we're getting at is that you're not apologizing you're so mad in this thread and you're like i'm ready to fight but maybe apologize for the thing that you said and just be like yeah that was messed up i'm sorry guys and we could have moved on from this instead of having a huge fight today on twitter like you're attacking people for no freaking reason and it's because your ego is so big you really think you're amazing that you could never be wrong because you can't even apologize for something this stupid and then she just goes on a whole rant about like how this book is her soul and like i understand like i'm a writer too i i get that this book is really important to you i get that it sucks that the world seems against you right now but really it's because of what you started and you refuse to apologize for it and this could have ended days ago you know i i read these tweets and i see that she's so sad and i'm like i i'm a really empathetic person i'm like okay i'm sorry but like how about you apologize first and we'll be like able to move past this like for real you just keep attacking people instead so we're gonna show you a bunch of the tweets where she just comes for people for whatever freaking reason because she refuses to acknowledge what she did and this is where it gets so bad because she's starting to associate the bad reviews she got to rape culture and people getting raped and yeah trigger warnings for that because how are these related yeah this this whole section of the video is about how she's morphing all of the criticism into her being attacked slash silenced she's talking about women being silenced and how they're told to smile when they don't want to smile like that's a whole feminist issue and like yeah those are freaking issues and feminism okay um what does it have to do with this situation like it really has nothing to do with it so let's just go through these screenshots so the original tweet that she was responding to was deleted but she said you shouldn't have worn that skirt you shouldn't have been so loud you should have smiled these are like were comments in response to about this book review situation like this was not some random freaking tweet someone responded it and said yeah let's not compare your book getting bad reviews to women being assaulted you went out of your way to be nasty to a reviewer who gave your book a four point star review i don't agree with people giving your book bad reviews but your analogy isn't anywhere close to being relevant completely agree with that statement and then lauren responds and says i'll decide what's relevant victim blaming language is rape culture and it's effing relevant when the only writers this ever happens to are women Okay, but this whole <laughs> this whole situation started from your own mistake. Like, it's just being twisted into something that it's really not. They respond again. It says, I would agree with you on principle, and I don't think people giving your book bad reviews is the right thing to do. However, there's a huge difference between you attacking someone and being attacked back, and people being attacked for no reason. It's not a fair comparison. Lauren says, self-defense is not an attack. Then Malika says, I'm referring to your original tweets, the ones that you deleted, so you must clearly recognize that you were in the wrong for making them. The one where you actively went after and were mean to book reviewers just because they didn't give you five stars. Like, spitting facts right there. Why is Lauren so defensive right now? Is Just trying to twist it into something it's not. And like, just apologize. It does not need to turn into this. Another reviewer commented and said, Goodreads is often used to inform other readers about problematic authors. I don't condone the one-star reviews. In my opinion, it's better to tag the book as won't read and explain why, but bad behavior has consequences. This is about readers warning each other about the author. 
I agree with that too. It's so good. And then Lauren says, no, this is about a bunch of self-appointed vigilantes destroying someone's life work because she didn't smile. What is this thing about smiling right now? Because what does it have to do with this? No one asked you to smile. You're literally bringing other issues that have nothing to do with this particular situation to try to morph your followers into supporting you. And there is a lot of her followers that is supporting her. And it seems like they don't even have the whole story because it's just like, what does... What, what are you seeing here that is making Lauren right right now? I don't know. So my next point is about how Lauren seems so proud of what happened. Like, she's not sorry at all. And here's a few tweets that show that. So someone said, isn't this the author who called a reviewer who gave their book four stars instead of a five? An asshole? Hmm. Lauren says, yes, you're right, I am. And it's like, why are you proud of this? Like, pfft. Someone's criticizing them and saying, like, it's funny that you're still not taking any responsibility for pissing off an entire community by calling us names. Then instead of taking a step back and reassessing what happened and maybe taking some responsibility, blah, 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 it keeps going. And Lauren says, I'll take responsibility for this. Eat shit. Like, why was that necessary? You're making it worse. You're digging yourself into a hole. It's just absolutely stupid. She really thinks she is a victim and she's really bringing in that whole rape culture argument and it's just... It's really disgusting. Someone tweeted, you literally put small reviewers on blast with your large platform. This is just you receiving the taste of your own medicine. Perhaps you should apologize to them. Actions have consequences. And Lauren puts in quotes, you shouldn't have worn that skirt. What does this have to do with this? Like, obviously, there is some severe problems out there about rape and sexual assault and how people don't believe the victims. But what does this have to do with bad Goodreads reviews? Like, it's just... It's actually disgusting that they're bringing this into this. And I saw a good tweet from Allie, from Allie with Books. It's a quote tweet of Lauren's tweet. It says, respond all you want, honey. Don't effing trash my life because I dented your fragile ego. And Allie says, this one's funny because her fragile ego is what started all of this. I know she couldn't take the 4.5 star review and it has caused absolute chaos on Twitter. So this whole video is just trying to tell you, stay out of reviewers' spaces if you're an author. Even if you do read it, do not respond. It causes chaos. And someone said, of course a white woman thinks feminism equals supporting every woman, even assholes like you. Don't use feminism and queerness to play the victim. You could have apologized for that out-of-pocket tweet a week ago, but you didn't, and now here you are playing the woe is me white woman role. Lauren says in quotes, say you're sorry and we'll stop hurting you. What does this have to do with it? You are completely dismissing everything and not acknowledging the actual problem going on here, which is just you being rude and you could have apologized already. Everyone's saying that to you, but you're just like, what? Someone said, if that's your analogy, you started attacking reviewers for not smiling, giving you five stars. If in your opinion, there is no legitimate review of your work less than five stars, why are you reading reviews in the first place? Absolute serve. <laughs> the Feminist AF book club said, ma'am, this is so out of hand and you still haven't apologized. Lauren Huff does, in quotes, feminist book club. How is this against, like, feminism? Just because you're a woman does not mean you can't do things wrong. People can call you out for the stupid things you've done. Like, you're twisting it into something it's not. Um, Lauren tweeted, it's gonna be funny as shit when these assholes have to read my book in school. Why are you so cocky? Like, you literally think your book is the best thing that ever happened to anybody. And that's why this whole situation happened to begin with, because you're just so cocky about this freaking book for some reason. And that normally is not a good sign of a good writer. <laughs> so this is when the really bad comments happen. Someone says, trigger warning, rape. Are you comparing Twitter drama about book reviews to being raped and victim blamed? And Lauren says, trigger warning, yep. What? Like, actually what? Like, that is such a freaking serious issue and you actually think your little book drama is comparable and there's another freaking tweet someone said trigger warning rape sexual assault are you privileged white woman really comparing rape to a book review lauren says the trigger warnings in these tweets are extra special considering yes that is what is happening here but life doesn't give you warnings you'll know that later on someone said you shouldn't have called them assholes in the first place you had it coming hun cry me a river and then lauren says in quotes you had it coming once again drawing freaking illusions or whatever to rape culture it makes me furious because it's just like such a disgusting fucking thing to compare <laughs> someone said comparing bad reviews to sexual assault how the f do you have a platform lauren says why are you jealous y'all are growing it okay yeah negative freaking attention does freaking grow people's platform sometimes unfortunately because then people that agree with this weird ass person goes and follows them i'm doing this freaking video to expose them and just be like don't do not do this 
Like, do not be so freaking mean. Get out of freaking reviewer spaces. We're book reviewers. We're doing our thing. We don't owe you anything and leave us alone. Okay, bye. And I saved a tweet of someone defending her. It says, let me get this straight. Lauren wrote a candid memoir about her emotional struggles, mental health issues, PTSD, and anger. And then everyone was shocked and bitter and lashed out when she did something impulsive and confusing on Twitter. Okay, yeah, I get if it was one impulsive tweet, but it's been days of crazy tweets just calming for people when you could have just apologized by now. So I don't think there's anything that you could say now to freaking defend Lauren. One day, I really hope Lauren can freaking reevaluate this whole situation and apologize to these reviewers. I cannot believe it's still going on. I'm sure there's more tweets going on right now and it really pisses me off. So thanks for watching this video. Thanks for sticking with me. Let me know your thoughts on this situation. Do you agree with Lauren? Do you not? Do you think reviewers need an apology? let me know. Like this video, comment on below. Have a good day. Please subscribe. Make sure to follow all my social medias which are linked down below and go click the bell button which is right by the subscribe button which you should already click and goodbye.